Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's model this one, and we're going to mod, uh, make it a parametric family. Okay. So first, I'm going to explain a little bit. So basically, we model one, and then we imagine that's an invisible、um, campus with all grid, grids, a lot of grids and nodes, and then we place that adaptive family onto these nodes and grids. Okay. So. And then eventually we control the size of this uh, this uh, campus, and and then can change the the sh the shape and keep the、um, keep the pattern or you know the design. So let's、um, start. Okay. So first we need to create a adaptive family. Okay, so in this adaptive family, we need one, two, three, three points. Make them adaptive, and then create a line between them, and then make them reference line. And then I'm going to place a point. Use draw on face midpoint. Select these two, and create a、uh, create a, a line.、Um, Let me think. Should I use midpoint on this one? Maybe not. I'll just use another one, another midpoint, and use this and create another line, and make them reference line, and place one point. Use draw on face on one of this line. Select this point and use a host point bar intersection. So now we have this point. So this. Is going to a point where we place another point. So point use draw on work plan set work plan onto tab tab horizontal work plan and place it on the point. And then we're going to move this up. So now we need to、um, we need to control this height. Use the relationship between one point one point two and point three. So let's go back.、Um, uh, That's okay. We can do it in 3D view. So set work plan. Pick the、uh, work、uh, work reference plan on this reference line. Do a dimension di and dimension point one and point two. Set dimension and set dimension. Okay. So now we create.、Uh, let me change the scale so we can see this. So select this dimension. We're going to create. Let's call it RP one reporting parameter. So this、uh, reports the distance between point one and point two. So then create another one reporting parameter two, and this one will be reporting parameter three. Okay. So now we have three distance、uh, lengths of the the edge. So now we can roughly. Work out so so select this point. We need to create a、uh, parameter for this. So let's call it H for height. Okay, instance parameter. So I'm going to roughly.、Uh, I think de depend.、Uh, looking at this, it's not very sharp.、Um, so basically, I think this roughly here. So it's it's okay, right? So now. We can go to family types. So roughly two, sub two, uh, two k. So seven k, eight k, seven k. That's uh about twenty two, twenty two. So maybe minus ten. So what I'm going to do is so equals uh R P one plus R P two plus R P three minus ten. I think that or. Another option is instead of put in ten, you can also create another number parameter. So you can control this. So for this exercise, I'll just put in ten. Apply. Okay. So now, if you move the point any of point, you will see this the height of this point will adjust adjust accordingly. Okay. So this will roughly keep the scale, keep the shape of this.、Uh, Family. So now we can connect all the points, and from these lines, we can create. So change them to reference line first, and then we can create surface. Use create a form. Oops, sorry, I, I pressed too fast. And then 
yeah and delete i'm not sure why sometimes that there's no option for me but i we can create a form and click on somewhere so create a solid directly click uh, press delete it will uh, bring back the surface it will delete the top surface and then um, become uh, just uh, no thickness at all sometimes you will have an option to you know on the, the one on the left is a solid the one on the right is a surface but yeah i can't find it it's not on my other screen not anywhere so just click on the screen to you to uh, revit uh, will create a solid by default and then we just delete this surface and uh, this is what uh, we need so this is it so this is the uh, shape and the, the ge geometry we need and also if you wanted to you can add a material parameter so this is it so this is an adaptive family so the next step is we're going to we need a mass environment okay and also you can use conceptual mass if you wanted to um yeah i think there's no not much difference so i'm going to use adaptive family because it's also a, in um a, a conceptual mass environment and plus plus the ability of adding adaptive family if we want to so in here i'm going to just model it like a normal family so i'm going to add two reference plan and add dimension or oh, equal before we equal you can see it actually move this one so this is because this is not pinged so once we pinged it will yeah do it differently and we can add a width parameter so so maybe uh type is okay and go to front add another reference plan rp oops reference plan dimension di and add a parameter for the height and okay so um now i'm going to just draw a reference line so yeah we need to pick a reference plan so i'm going to use a center front and back and I'll draw this um on work draw on work plan and draw it here and directly just lock onto the reference plan just like normal uh generic model okay so and then if if we go to 3d view you can see this is a reference line we did okay so you, you can see the reference plan in this uh, adaptive family and we can just create a, a surface so create a form and pick the one on the right which is a surface and then uh, what we need to do is so we can adjust the adjust the size for example i want to make it um maybe three meter high and f uh, six meter uh five meter wide apply oh good so now select this surface and we use divided surface and now we need to create very um a lot of great uh, uh, nodes which means we need to use a smaller um spacing so i'm going to use minimum uh, maximum spacing and 500 maybe make it 200 for for example and and 200 okay so yeah it's up to you you can choose different size but if you use this one maximum oh hell we can't we can't use this one because if we use maximum spacing when we change the size of this one it will increase the number of these grids we don't want to change the number of the grids so we need to so you change this back to um uh fix the number fix the number yeah all good so yeah all good and then next step is turn on the notes okay so now you can see all the notes uh maybe tl yeah see the notes and then we can load that uh, adaptive family so let's do it load into here so we can start to place it so one for example one two three so place one right and uh so uh, let's try it more so one two three you now you can have big one you can have smaller one you can uh you can have uh uh hang on. yeah trying to trying to match the edge so uh 
yeah, sometimes a little bit. <laughs> um, maybe this skinny skinny triangle. Yeah, maybe we do this. Uh, maybe we do this. Maybe we can do this. And maybe we can do this. So yeah, so just uh, you can just uh, play play uh, with the design. So you can create something quite interesting. Uh, you can you don't uh, you can play them. Oh, sorry. Make sure make sure you place them on the nodes. Okay, otherwise uh, it won't work. So you can uh, yeah this one yeah it's on it. Okay, and you can see when I place this one. Sometimes you go um, uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise, and it will create. Uh, it will place them on different side. So to avoid this, you can go um, edit this and change these, change change them, change them. Um, I think I'm not very sure, but. I think if we, we can try host, I think um, it might work. Yeah, yeah, so it'll, it'll go one side. So let's continue, let's place a little bit more. And I think uh, that uh, should be enough, okay? So that tells a story, it's just uh, some art with random size and um, geometry, right? So it's not as not as good as this one, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so now let's try this. So in a project, so imagine this is uh, okay. So I think this is a little art work we did, and you can even add, you know, a frame or something there. So, but I'll just try this one. Um, I'll create a pro project, okay? So, and then I'll just do a wall, WA, go here, load it into the project. And, okay, so it's uh, it's basically a, a generic model. Um, yeah, generic model, but it's a mass environment. It's a, an adaptive family without adaptive points. It's more like a conceptual mass family. Okay, so this one, um, how can I flip it? Oh, no, not this one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, not sure. Maybe we can just rotate it or mirror it. I'll see if I can mirror it. Mirror. Yes, we can mirror it. Okay, so. so and also, we, let's just move it on the wall, so it looks like a pen, a, an art on the wall. Okay, so and then um, maybe turn off these grids. Okay, so turn off these grids. So you you can actually you can do it in the project. You can just VV go on the mass check this check this mass first, and then uh, uncheck the grid line and also uncheck the nodes so if you uncheck those so we will turn them off you don't need to go back into the family you can you can go back into the family to turn them off but yeah it's easier to <laughs> to do it this way anyway so um and now uh, what's next yeah so we need to change the size so if you select it we have the parameter here so if i try one meter by um uh, oh, uh, 1.8 oh sorry not 1.81 not 1 1 8 0 0 and this will change the overall scale of oh wrong one so 1 meter by 1.8 uh, meter yeah so this will change the whole scale so yeah so basically make it parametric oh where is it sorry I can't just move it here so maybe we need to go to the go to the front and then yeah so do it this way and this is it so um, basically create a pattern oh sorry create a, a divided surface and then apply this adaptive uh, family onto it to create your uh, little um, art and then we can adjust the size to whatever you like okay so 
three six. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, please feel free to add your um, request or ideas on so in this document. Okay. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.